So you want to add a photo gallery to your website. Let me show you how I added this filterable gallery to mine in three easy steps. With this gallery, you can add filterable tags to images in the gallery to provide image categories. Let's get started. So step number one is to download the Essential Add-ons plugin. From your WordPress dashboard, you're going to want to go to the Plugins tab and click on Add New. From there, you'll go to the search bar on the right hand side and type in Essential Add-ons. It should be the first option that pops up, called Essential Add-ons for Elementor. I'll just click on Install and then Activate. Step number two is to use the filterable gallery widget. I'm going to open my website up on a new tab and click on Edit with Elementor. Next, on the left hand side, I'm going to search Filter. Here is the filterable gallery widget. You can also see right there in the top right corner the letters EA, which stands for Essential Add-ons. Lastly, I'm going to drag the widget into my website wherever I plan on using it. Step number three is to make final adjustments with Elementor to fully customize the gallery to your needs. I'll customize this gallery right now for you so you can get an idea of how easy it is to make it your own. First, I'm going to add some control tags to the menu on top of the gallery. These are your categories. I'm going to click on the settings tab to minimize it and then go to the filterable controls drop down. I'll change the first one to be mountains and the second one to be bridges. Now, whatever you use to make your controls, you're going to tag each image with the exact text you use here, except with a lowercase. I'll show you in just a moment. Next, I'm going to insert all of the images I plan on using so I have a live preview of what the gallery looks like when it's done. So I'm going to toggle the filterable controls tab so that it minimizes, and then I'm going to click on the gallery items drop down. From here, you can click on each individual item and edit it. You can click on this button to duplicate an item, and you can click on the X to delete it. You can also click on the Add Item button at the bottom to add new items to the list. I'm going to show you how to edit the first one and then change the rest off camera. So click on the item you want to edit. In my case, I'll edit the first one. Right here is where you want to use the control name that you created earlier. So this will be a bridge image. So I'm going to type out bridges because it's the exact text that I used in the control, but with a lowercase. Then I'll change the title and the image. You can also change other options like the paragraph that displays here, the icons that display, whether you display the icons at all, and much more. Now I'm going to skip to a full gallery where I have all of my images already inserted. Welcome back. I have a complete gallery here to show you what it looks like. I did the exact same thing with the other images. I added a control name, a title, and an image. That's all. Under the settings tab, you can change things like how many images are displayed, how many columns there are, and what the image height is. You can also do a lot more changes. Under the Style tab, you can change the padding right here. I'm also going to add a border radius which will curve the edges of the white background. I'm going to edit the controls by changing the color here. I'm also going to change the hover icon color right here. Perfect. Now I think the gallery looks fantastic. That was my short tutorial on how to use the filterable gallery widget from Essential Add-ons. If you're interested in learning more about web design, check out the rest of our channel because we're constantly putting out in-depth tutorials on how to make a website and how to make money from it. If you're looking to get started today and take the first step towards building your own website, click on the very first link in the description to get a discount on your web hosting. I'll see you in the next video.